old muttering man. I'll fix him. That charm grinder. Sir, is everything all right? How kind of you to ask. The name's Ackley Barnes. And no, it is not. I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex-business partner, a conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. He cut me out of our herbology supply business, just as we were getting started. Hm. Said I was too volatile to work with. I'll show him volatile. That must have been frustrating for you. Yes, yes it was. Terribly. I'm simply passionate about my work. Supercilious fool. He's passionate about things too. As I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession. A venomous tentacular he's grown from a seedling that was to be the keystone of our business venture. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. <laughs> Lawley's doing, no doubt. But no one would suspect nice a Nice empathetic, re uh, empathetic hmm. reflection there. How would you feel about committing some grand plant larceny? Ooh, here we go. Should I steal this guy's plant? What do you think, chat? Should I, should I steal the plant, or I'm not comfortable with this? I am a good guy. I am a good guy. No, it's it's the stream. It's the stream, Blue. They, that cutscene. Sometimes the cutscenes are not uh, happy. It should mellow out here in a second, but the sometimes some of the cutscenes are are choppy sometimes and mess up the stream a little bit. We hopefully we're back to normal ish. Huh? Yeah, gets a little little fucky on some of the cutscenes sometimes. So that's a, that's the stream though. Hopefully it mellows out. I'm not sure this is something a student should be doing on your behalf. Oh, it's nothing. And he deserves it. Trust me. You'll be in and out of there in no time. Mm -hmm. All right, Very I'll do well. It. You've convinced me. Marvelous. I know a fellow seeker of justice when I see one. Take as many herbology supplies as you like while you're in his cellar. All I ask is that you bring me the venomous tentacular. <laughs> Remember, I no, just need no, that venomous tentacular. It's me. Now that we're out of the cutscene, it should hopefully be back to normal and they've Seems settled down. I need down. to find Mr. Lawley's cellar. Just some of the cutscenes get... Uh, this game runs actually really well. This must be it. But something about the combination of streaming it and running it at the same time, I get some, some. The it has trouble encoding it. The game plays great though; it really does. But the combination of streaming it and coding, I'm on a single PC as well. I get some like bog downs like that where it gets a little choppy. This Put must be the cellar. Out. Now, to find that venomous tentacular. <laughs> Say, Beaver. Yeah, I haven't played this game since so long. I think I was like 45 the last time I played this game. So. Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. How long it's been. <laughs> um... <laughs> I usually do, but in here I typically. Yeah. Hello, Amora. Pavilion. 
Hi, Dolly. It's just like the, any of the other unlocking mini games. Like you just put the two things in the in this correct spot. Avelia. Really? I'm gonna fight spiders down here? Now that I have the venomous tentacula, I should return to Mr. Barnes. It's basically you just have to turn the middle circle until it starts to spin the one part. You turn the outer circle until it spins the other part, and then it unlocks. It's very simple. Share it, but it's Dolly's. I'm not a big fan of the burrowing spiders. Or the spiders at all, to be completely honest. Coins here, I can't grab for some reason. Annoying. It's like glitched coins there. Hmm. 
Let's see what happens with the first paper check from the job. Yeah. Uh, it's a really good game. It's quite fun. I do wish there was, like, uh, some multiplayer, but... And not everything needs to be multiplayer. Completed so. that errand for me yet? I did. Hello, Mr. Barnes. I have that venomous tentacular. Barnes. Oh. Mr. Barnes. Wish I could see Lawley's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. We'll see who's volatile now. Well done. I'll take it off your hands now. You know, I want to be it paid for It wasn't as that. easy to come by as I had expected. I'd like to be paid for my troubles. <sighs> Only fair, I suppose. I can respect your business acumen. Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. Thank you again for your help. I suspect you have a bright future. Dragon hide herbologist gloves. Ooh, interesting. All right, I'm going to uh, save and restart. I feel like that's a since the game the game is starting to to be kind of laggy. There might, there could possibly be some sort of memory problem or something. So let's just, so uh, Jenny, um, so Jenny made me a really nice. Well, she bought me a really nice birthday dinner, but it was so late. Uh, <laughs> get a sponsor for Hogwarts Legacy. What's up, Brim? It was so late last night that we didn't have it. We just went to bed. So um, she made it now. So I'm gonna go have some. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go have some lunch. There's gonna be a picture What's and food for I come. Um, do you have any soda? And uh, Jenny's gonna come play for a while. So Jenny and I are kind of co-oping this playthrough. And Dolly's gonna have a freak out. You gonna strap her on? Okay, I'm restarting the game for you. Jenny, how do you say bon appetit in German? Huh? Guten Guten Appetit? Guten Appetit. Oh yeah, something was fucked up because the game doesn't want to shut down now. It's like fucked and stuck. Alternatively, Hall Rhine. Oh, I eat up. Jenny said Hall Rhine is more like eat up. <laughs> is that like a regional difference between you and Ava? It's, it's more like, a, like a northern. Hold on, let me clip on Jenny's strap on real quick. Quick, this is the big one. This is like the thirty-nine incher. Uh, how how big yeah. is she now? <laughs> um, I might have broken it. I don't know. I restarted the game and now it's all right. There it goes. All right, guys. So I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna hand it over to Jenny. I'm gonna go have my birthday dinners. Uh, you guys hang out with her, and I'll be back in a little bit. Or maybe I won't. What's happening? The camera button is okay. This whole thing is frozen. Ah, hold on. Okay, so that's... Hmm. Oh, the, it's just closed. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> the picture of the food has been posted. Uh, my lunch picture is posted. Let me get my stream deck to actually function here. <laughs> Let's go load the shaders. Okay, here you go. Now it's to Jenny. Here you go.
can't get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. Off on another adventure, are we? Thanks. Yep, I did not uh, notice that, but you only missed Dali complaining. So there's that. I wonder. Hold on. What if I, what if I turn you around, Dali, so you can look? You think that's gonna be better? Hold on, guys. Apparently, Dali agrees today, QQ. I'm gonna blame you for that. Yeah, she's already like, like last night was like horrible. She was like, she ended up being awake until 6 a.m. Then she finally fell asleep and then she was up like every hour. And the only way she'd stop crying and complaining constantly was uh, me basically sitting with her and I had a, a Netflix show up on my phone and she was watching that. She was completely chill. Um, oh, I'm lost. Uh, hi, fries. Sorry. Sorry, I'm... Um, uh, uh, Professor... I have no idea. Okay. Go in here and collect the... Collect the demiguys statue in there. Mine now, demiguys. He said there was another one in the... Uh... Divination. Uh, Bell Tower? Divination, yes. said that travel broadens the mind. 
Totally agreed. What do you think, Dolly? Do you think we can do this? There's another demi, guys. How many do we have now? Does anyone. Do we, do we, so, probably a three. Yeah, let's run around Hogwarts and see if we can find some more demi guises. Anyone remember any that I can't remember right now? Yeah. They were everywhere when we were looking for them. Uh, when we weren't looking for them. And as per usual, now they're just gone. She hasn't watched that one, Ned. Okay. Look. Let's go down. This way. Let's see where it is, Dolly. Oh, what? Oh, I wonder what the thing is with these. Do we need to these uh higher thingies on the incendio Huh? It's a note. What note? Oh, there was a note? Revelio. No. But there's four of them here, so incendio. I think I need to light them all up before I can do it. And then they have like we they have weird symbols before them and you can turn them. So there's something to like some sort of riddle to do with them. Yeah. This way. What up, Dolly? What are you complaining about? We go in here. Oh, oh, hey! Take your foot off the keyboard! This is not how gaming works. <laughs> What? You agree? Ah. God, imagine how inconvenient. What? How crazy! Uh, uh, let's get this one. Holy shit. Ah, oh, and you already dropped the pass again. Dolly. Okay, calm down. Hakuna your tatas, okay? Sit down. Here. How about this? Is this a good spot for gaming? Oh, it's going great. Oh, I invented flu powder. How's the food? You like it? Good late birthday dinner. Have you tried the, the bacon wrapped peas yet? They good? Nice. Oh, take your time. In enjoy your food. So, she's not screaming. Take your time and enjoy your food. Right, darling? So, Daddy, eat your food. Enjoy it. Okay. What are you up to now? Okay. No, there, there's a picture in Discord of uh, Cheese's birthday dinner. Like, I, I, I knew I wanted to get one of the, like, more like gourmet thingies they have for, for, with HelloFresh, and that seemed like the most like your like taste to your taste. Excuse me, 
There's nothing to attack there. Don't just smack the mouse. Yeah, cheese likes to look as eccentric as possible. Uh, Rebellion. Oh, that's moving a raven claw. I solemnly swear that I have no good. Hey, Noodle! Noodle, thanks so much for the tier one for 12 months! One, year. one whole year! Thanks so much, Noodle. How are you doing? Got all of these, got all of these. Uh oh! Oh no! 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 So yeah, cheese ha is is having sesame chicken, bacon wrapped snow peas, and wild rice with a. Peanut soy sauce thing. <laughs> Thank you. You know what I noticed though? They have like four to five like uh, gourmet options every Off week. Another adventure, are we? Most of them, and I, I honestly mean like most of them, like five out of five. Uh, for like three weeks a month and then there's like maybe two vegetarian ones are always only meat Do we have all of them now? Oh, no, we, we need the boathouse still She said it's, it tastes amazing too, so Oh, it's down here. A what? A what? A what? A what? The game's really, really fun. Both Cheese and I are loving it. Dolly is impressed too. She's just grouchy as hell. See, right? I'm grouchy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can you stand? Can you stand? Oh, okay. Ah. This way? Is this any better? Wee 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 Who was that? Oh no, no. Three. Three! Three I said! We got the page, Dolly! We got it! We got it! Yeah, I know! I agree! There, look. Dolly, come on. Are you getting hungry too? Is that your problem? I know, I know. Let me open. Here, what if I give you my finger? Okay. Um. Dolly, can you hold this? Better idea? I'm gonna be Wait, hold on. Look, you can sit over here. <laughs> you can still hang out of me. Give me my pillow there, the like long one. Small one. Thanks.
This is parenthood in a nutshell. Try to do literally anything. You can't. I can't. Swear to God. <laughs> get the last flu flame I think Hogwarts castle so who's who just got the game today and is uh, starting today I think like a stone. Going for a swim? Goodness, no. Though I'm beginning to think I really should learn how to swim. Can't very well be liaison to the mer people if I don't know how to swim. You're a liaison to the mer people? Well, not technically, no. At least not yet. The position doesn't actually exist at the moment, but I have a plan to change that. Yeah. I'm Nerida, by the way. Nerida Roberts. We didn't officially meet, but we jeweled in the Crossed Wands Club. Yes, of course. How do you Good like to it? see you again. And you. You seem quite interested in mer people. I am. And they're as misunderstood and disregarded by wizard kind as goblins and centaurs are. Hold on, Jeff. I Watch feel this real quick. I'm going to go make a refill for the have have liaison one. officers at the ministry, then the mer people should have one too. All right. Uh, if goblins and centaurs have liaison offices in the ministry, the mer people should have one too. Oh, so we have a, we have another Hermione Granger I think in our hands. Reaching out to the mer people is a grand idea. You do? Oh, thank you. Of course, I haven't exactly done hey, anything Downey. just yet. I presented them with a gift a few weeks ago, and they wanted to leave me one as well in one of their caves. Reciprocity and an offer to visit. I tried telling them I couldn't swim, but I'm afraid that bit got lost in translation. Mermish really is tricky. How has Wizardkind fallen short in its treatment of mer people? Well, we've consistently uh, damned mer right people as being beneath us despite the many similarities between our cultures. One can hardly blame them for declining being status by the Ministry years ago. Who are we to classify those of such beauty and intelligence? What do you imagine a liaison to the Mer people would do? Oh, so many things. I want to know everything I can about them. After I've mastered swimming, I perfect my Mermish, of course. And I'd share with them anything they wanted to know about wizard kind. My hope is that by understanding each other better, both of our societies could grow. What is it about the mer people that interests you so much? 
I can't begin to tell you how brilliant they are. I mean, rumor is that tales about them have infiltrated even the muggle world. The oldest known mer people, sirens, come from Greece. And of course, Scotland has selkies and Ireland is home to Merrows. I could go on for ages about them. Their glorious underwater communities, domestication of sea life, their art and music. It's a travesty how little is understood about them. Well, I can swim and could help you if you'd like. You'd really do that? Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. The last thing I want is for them to think I shunned their gift. Diplomacy is a delicate dance. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think you can dive down to their cave from just there in the water. Ooh, we're gonna go visit Mer people. I can't wait to hear about what you find. One day soon, I'll see for myself. I just know it. The Mer people in Harry Potter have an have an interesting look. They're not like depicted as like the like beautiful mermaids that you have in a million other movies. They're more like like fierce uh I obviously have my gilly weed. Place. What do you mean? Did the mer people really leave Nerida an artifact? Lumos. I have to light this Incendio. Now then, I'll need you to come with me. Bella had charm. Who am I, Cedric Diggory? Now for the rest of you. Come on, better than that. Cheese, that joke. What do we have in here then? No, you can't. Nerida will be happy about this. You can only have one of them follow you at a time. much for the tier one for 13 months how you doing rash your gift from the mer people was exactly where they said it would be oh that's wonderful news i was so worried i'd left it too long and they'd seen it as a slight our relationship with them is already so tenuous then i'm glad we helped to foster some healthy diplomatic relations merlin's beard it's marvelous. I'm going to show it to everyone, including good, the you know? ministry. The, the usual. Should I hand deliver it or send by owl? Thank you again so much. You may have just helped improve relations between wizard kind and mer people for decades to come. I can't wait to study this. Just eat yourself off the bed. And then did you hear her? You okay, oh, nice Charlie? To see you, my young friend. Yeah, you fell off the bed. Got down off the bed.
Buddy, no jumping. Okay. It's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. Oh, God. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. Where do you find the time for this and your homework? I've plenty of time for both. Been managing for years. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing wisbies is dried billywigs things. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's you... cellar and grab a few dried billywigs things oh, for me. Go to the bathroom. Don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. Of course. You never know when you might need a quick <laughs> means of escape from the castle. Brilliant. Thank you. But you should know that it's not exactly quick. It's the secret bit that's helpful. Huh? The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor what? corridor. You... Just tap it with your wand okay. and say, Descendium. Jesus coming back for a second. I'll and then I'll be back again. All right. Pretty fucking sure I'm back. Um never and I mean never have kids. Just don't do it. They're disgusting and terrible. Um, all right, later, Cannon. My God. <laughs> like, I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall oh, be the thanks, first Downey. one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. That's okay. Perhaps I celebrate my birthday all year long. My so. potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. I, I took my my glasses I'll off to, to eat dinner. I'll get those dried billywig stings for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. And then, thanks, Ganon. Uh, and, uh, and then, yeah. So I was trying to have a meal with Charlie, and it all went wrong. And I'll save you guys the gory details, but let's just say Jenny is washing Charlie up now. Be too hard to find. <laughs> So what do we learn here, Jenny? Never have children, right? Isn't that what we... This looks like the right statue. Yes, I told you. And what was You're the very password? clever. Clever. How offensive. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings. Uh, any luck removing some more of those demigod statues? I actually have some moons for you. Hey, dog. I knew I could count on you. <clears throat> uh, bring me a few more moons, and if I'll you buy show it you on how Steam, to improve casting Alahamora. Steam has a two-hour uh, refund policy, so if you have less than two hours played on any game, you can refund it. So if you buy it on Steam, you try it, and you can't run it, as long as you haven't had it open for two hours, you, you'll be able to refund it. Where should I look for more demigod statues and moons? All of my usual haunts, which incidentally have now become quite haunting. Oh, no worries. Here in the castle, in Oxmead, and believe it or not, in some of the surrounding hamlets. Oh, my tormentor is nothing if not thorough. Kept me from all my usual engagements for an eternity now. I'll keep an eye out for more demigod statues and see if I can bring you more moons. You are to be commended for your bravery and valor, especially since they can only be collected at night. Okay, Daddy. What did you do with the debris? Get rid of it.
Yeah, yeah, game the time is active, exactly. So, like, if you open up and you're sitting up the... Yep, exactly. If you sit at the menu for two hours, that's, you know... But that's on you. I mean, like I said, you can you can buy it, you can try it, and then if it doesn't work, then you just return it. Just make sure you don't sit at the menu for three hours before you try to return it. But yeah, all right, Jenny's done uh, taking care of all that, so I am going to be back. Alright, I'm back. Uh, open the one I wish statue. Oh, you gave him some already? Okay. How many was that? Three only, right? Four. Yeah, but there's, I mean, uh, Steam has the same thing where it like says, tells you recommended things, but there's still then a difference between like what settings you have to run the game on to make it actually work. Yeah. Uh, the plate on top of the cutting board. Where is this? Oh, this this is where I'm trying to go. We bet yeah, two hours should definitely get you to the to the tutorial. Oh, where are we now? The hell? Oh. Free shit. Where the hell are we? Yeah. Oh, there's a there's a door that leads to nowhere. Got it. Sit on your butt, Charlie. Yeah, you can in, in two hours you can definitely What? No, that's not what I wanna do. I can play this for a while. You know that I more than happily will. Now Dolly's settled. If if you want to chill with Charlie for a while. Uh. <laughs> Where the hell is the one-eyed witch statue? Where is that statue? Does anybody know? Did it? Did he tell us? Uh, it, it, there's no marker on the map. No. There's literally no quest marker around Hogwarts anywhere. When I'm... The One-Eyed Witch statue is in Hogwarts. Because I've read the books! There's no path available. Thank you kindly for letting us... <laughs> yes, that's the path to Honeydukes.
Yeah, are we stuck in here now? Oh. Third floor. What floor are we on now? I'd like to retire. Founder! Descendium. Goodness. Who knew this was all down here? I did. I've read the books. A lift. Must be how I get down. Looks broken, though. We just fixed an entire room. Have done the trick. I don't remember there being a lift in that tunnel. This castle will never cease to surprise me. I'm trapped. How am I supposed to get out of here? Revelio. If I could lift this platform, I think I could get it to work. Oh, do I, oh, I stand on top of it and then cast? No. Wingardium Leviosa. I can't. I can't cast and jump at the same time. Like if I jump, the I need to get up there somehow. Do you remember what the controls were for Queen Guardian Leviosa? Did I? This shit ain't moving. Oh, that might be a good idea. Okay. Try Cheese's idea. Okay, 
Oh, is, is that too? That's too high, though. I think. Sender. Look at you, cheese. You're a genius. Never mind. I take everything back. You have to get past this. I just don't want your ego to get too big. That's you make it. It's literally the- I hope, you ch I hope you choke on your food right now. I hope you choke on it. <laughs> Dali, I thought this was funny. So, there's that, you know. Oh! Okay, didn't want to fall in there. What are you talking about? No secret. Okay, so we fixed that part. Yeah. Repair. Uh, fix this part. Revelio. And now. Uh, Wingardium Leviosa. Passing. There you go. There it is. Also, he drooled all over that penguin's butt. Okay. Uh, can we run and jump over there? <sighs> nope. Okay. Okay, we need to move this somehow. No, I I tried. Wingardium Leviosa. So this is too too big, too heavy for. I'm not sure which spell you're talking about, Max. <laughs> oh, what did that do? Rebellion. That did something. Ah, 
Pavilion. So there's the three platforms. I can lift none of them. None of them are liftable by any magic I possess. Um... Can't just run and jump. Nothing in the ceiling. This is the... This is the one we just got through. I don't understand why I can't lift those up. We got you, Leviosa. But it's definitely not working. Didn't work on this one either. Rebellion. Huh? I can't lift them at all. None, none of the three. If if there was a specific order or something, I should have to be able to start with one, but I can't lift any of them. Revelio. Oh, oh, so Leviosa works, but not Wingardium Leviosa from up top? Okay. Oh, I guess I'm just dumb as hell. It has the it has the spell symbol on it. Incendio. to go and I'll make it across. Leviosa. That did the trick. Ha. Wingardium Leviosa is supposed to be for like heavier objects, like big boxes and shit like that. And Levioso is more of a, a combat spell. Like you can lift this up enemies and I need to find a way to open that no, gate. It's Le no, that one is Levioso. Incendio! So we have to light these things on fire. There's Dolly's. The the bird cloth. Yeah, I'll bear back, guys. I'm not sure either one of those works for that fries. <laughs> so, geez, again, back to the conversation from this morning. Are you sure you want to have more of these? Something smells sweet. Must be close to honey juice. Yeah, but until then, you still have to take care of them. Oh, that's that's why you've got me. Look at her. Hogsmeade, here I come. Sing it out now. Rebellion. Okay, now. Honey Dukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? Rebellion.
I have the dried billywig stings. Now, back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. Never knew butterflies were attracted to treasure. I must have missed that, that one in beasts. Let's go back to Gareth. Now we committed another felony for him. Probably gonna get kicked out of Hogwarts. Is it this chucklehead? Are you helping, Dolly? Are you helping? You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Yeah, Dolly. What? Hello, Gareth. What I have those dried about? billywig stings. You got them. Incredible. Let go of the cables. Let go of the cables. Let go of the cables. All yours for a fee. Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant. Can't wait to get started. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Oh. M. Mm. Sit here. Uh, let's go to this. Let's do this one. Meet Sebastian and Feldcroft. Where is this? Oh, Jesus. This is like way far away. Okay. Okay. Do we have any sort of. Got this one. Ticky, 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 ticky. You holding on to the mic, making sure it doesn't fall down? I've always said that Good. travel broadens the mind. I may go to Hogsmeade later. What? They need to be reminded. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Where's this flame deal? Just talking about that accessibility controller thing to play one handed, that would be so handy right now. dismount here whoa tell me that tell me that wasn't masterful I mean honestly enjoying the view keeping an eye on things Feldcroft isn't what it used to be 
No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood <laughs> Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. Are goblins forbidden from carrying wands? Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. Follow Sebastian. Falkoff used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time. Everyone stays out of sight. Jesus. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. I get it, get it, get what I think it is. We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we have tried Chad. everything. There is no cure. When will you accept that? Never. I can never accept it. <laughs> now look what you've done. <laughs> I'm sorry. Leave. I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. We're back. What? Do I have the passy? Look. Okay. Now, you sit here. Okay. Sit here. Look, I'll even I'll even give you your sheep. You want your sheep? There you go. Hey, kick. Uh, speak with Anne and Sebastian. That boy will fray my oh, last nerve. Solomon. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes. Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. He thinks he can help Anne. Oh, but nothing can be done for her. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ugh, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the Loyalists' way. 
With all due respect, sir, Hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. That sounds like he knows something. I hope something. you remember what I've said. Good day. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts. And often suddenly, it's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh, dear Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother, and me, in line. I do miss Hogwarts. But I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cosy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> by what happened to me, and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. Whoa. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. Uh, whatever, we're gonna find a cure. I'm afraid it's really up to Sebastian, and his mind seems to be made up. I can only hope he realizes the futility of his search for a cure soon. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. I wish you well. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Dear Anne, Hogwarts isn't the same without you. Well, Sharp is still as foul. But you know what I mean. I hope you're feeling better, Sebastian. Aww. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, Why no. will he not listen to me? She's my sister. Let's talk. How are you doing, Have Sebastian? You got a Have first a hand glance Sebastian. of what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I know he's angry, but he's only trying to do what he thinks is best for Anne. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Interesting. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. I don't think anybody ever said anything about once a month. Dig through this rubble. Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Only dead wizard in my book. Yeah. 
Look what happens when you don't listen. Can bring them. Ah. Ah. Your best. Ah, I confess, that was a bit more than I'd bargained for. 
I oh, tried whatever. to warn you. Oh, whatever. Sound like a bitch. You sound like a bitch. Oh. Shiny stuff. It's out there. This is another one of the... Oh. Okay, never mind. <gasps> We're not allowed to explore. Gotcha. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate before my uncle and I could stop her, and rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically the trying to stamp out the sleep. flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. It sounds as if the Loyalists attacked Anne without cause. I wouldn't put it past them, but I'm convinced that they were trying to hide something. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The Loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And... At Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. Rebellion. Whose home was this? Been abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Revelia! Shiny star, shiny star. This well looks familiar. Sebastian, I've seen this before. The house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Revelia. Oh, this is where the, um, where they made it rain and like fixed everything and where the little boy di ended up dying. I think. Sebastian, over here. Do you think this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Repair it. can fix it. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganock. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves Keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It all has to do with the vault at Gringotts. 
Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it? When you put it like that. The point is, oh, we both have good reasonable. reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. Look at this. Someone piled I this here for I'd a reason. I think I'd still enjoy the game, yeah. Is it blocking something? You don't... Only one way to find out. You don't need, uh... Can bring up any, like, previous knowledge, really, from the, huh, the books or the movies. To, Why bother uh, blocking a stairway? stairway? There might be something here to worth see, a closer or, or look. To, like, play the game. You don't They've need any, like, this lore knowledge, about. nothing. Tells me they're after something bigger. How did he get down here so fast? It's my second week in the camp. More arrive each day. The muggle doctors and even some of our own healers are doing all they can for them. The grief is palpable. The ones who have survived the plague are forever damaged by their loss. A, fe a fever may pass, the skin may mend and scar, but the devastating sorrow remains. I saw a man, much like my father, who had lost a child. I couldn't bear it. I longed to give him some shred of gr some shred of relief. I'm beginning to think that the others are wrong. I have the power to help these souls. It seems as arbitrary not to help them as it would be to rid them of their torment. A journal entry of his adores. I should hold on to this. I traveled here to learn, but I long to help. My internal struggle is overwhelming. It's as though the magic wants to heal and I am the one preventing it from doing so. Should I lose hope? Will I forever regret not having done more? I cannot look into their eyes, knowing that I could lessen the burden of their heartache. I saw the man leaving the camp I saw the man leaving camp today, the one who so reminded me of my father. Surely it wouldn't hurt to help him. I could further my research, of course, but that would be a fortuitous consequence of doing something good with this ability. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. I'm supposed to find here. How am I get? How am I gonna get back there? Confringo. Um, we've I'm actually watched them recently this. with Charlie. I can see the undercroft. Um, since what? We, like we're also reading the books again currently. Um, because that happens to me too. I read all those books before to Charlie, but she was like still too young. She like did, like one hundred percent didn't understand what the hell was happening with that. Um. But now she actually asks, like the last couple of days, she's been asking like to watch Harry Potter. And she loves sitting here with Cheese when he's playing the Harry Potter game. I know it sounds strange, Honestly, but... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall. As though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I have a rare ability to see whispers of ancient magic. I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. <laughs> I knew you weren't telling me everything. Ancient magic. What does that even mean? I'm not entirely sure, but the Keepers have said that it's a powerful magic that should only be wielded by a select few. And you can wield it? I don't know. But Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows, I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft, from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can, but perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, 
Invisible secret ancient magic passageway? Here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Yeah, we're we're currently like we just started book two. Um but we only get through like half a chapter to maybe a chapter a night. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Looks like a map that was ripped to pieces. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. Reve a note. Let's have a look. Definitely something about incendio. Anything helpful in the notes? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry. I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. Revelio. of Falbutton Castle. After dark, do not tell anyone. Excuse me. Secret shit is happening. Don't look strange at all. Okay. Uh, oh, we need to release those beasts. Oh, one handle. Nah, the the, the regal pink one fits. Cheese. Not gonna be spinning cheese. Points there. Knowing that it's cheese playing, it's not a strange outfit, no matter the year.
Oh, let's, let's go do astronomy class first. Off on another adventure, are we? Um, I mean, the, the MSQ is kind of, uh, obviously fairly linear. But besides that, like, all the side quests you can do kind of whenever you want. Obviously, for some of them, you need specific spells that you get later on in the, in the MSQ. Or from other side quests, but... Like, any quest you have, you can basically do them in whatever order you want to do. No real restriction there. And your reading is... the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies? Professor Shah, astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight, we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Ah. Here, I can adjust um, that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Ah. What's her problem? Ah. Why is she trying to stand inside of me? Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very selfsame stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Hello. I don't believe we've met officially. I'm Amit. I'm something of an astronomy buff. Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first-rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, uh, I... Thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Okay. I tried to put off my stargazing as long as I could. This was his old telescope. Looks practically brand new. Ah, 
pristine night for the garden. The perfect night for... Oh! I have the telescope. It's nicer than I had expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Oh, boy. Yes. What is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. Mm. And you need someone to help you find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. Oh, no need let's, to convince let's go me. Find a star let's chart. get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform. Something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs. Sorry, guys. Uh... Hey. They're not medieval. Room. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Hmm. Pavelio. A little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as uh, tidy as I expected. Guardium Leviosa. Incendio! You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Oh, no. Not this close to the school, Emmet. Revelio! Look! There's a table! I think you should do the honors. Go on, try it out. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. Stargazing is all about patience and precision. Oh my god, this is a nightmare. There we go. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Hey, Rock. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, Emmett. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You're welcome. 
It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. I never do get tired of seeing the astronomy tower at night. Yeah. What a view. Yeah, no, I love astronomy. Looking at the stars and shit, you know. Oh, I feel like we should... Oh no, you know what? Let's go do this one. Let's go meet Natty. Here. Nice to see you, my young friend. Yeah. Uh, where in the hell even are we? Look, it's a kitty cat. Let's go there. Who lived here, I wonder? 